Hi there. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use Phantom JS driver for headless browser testing. So I have imported Selenium Web Driver, Selenium Phantom JS, Phantom JS driver, also Selenium Phantom JS, Phantom JS driver service, and then Selenium Remote Desired Capabilities. So desired capabilities classes will be used to call for Phantom JS. So I have Phantom JS on one of my directories, and I'm going to use this part to locate to Phantom JS exe. Okay, so let's start by doing that. Type in desired capabilities equals to new desired capabilities. All right then caps dot set javascript enabled you have to call this method just in case whether you have disabled usually by, by default system sets it for true then we call for caps dot set capability okay so let's go for that Thanks. You have options from these, and we will use that. So one is capability name and value, and second in platform value, and capability name string value. So let's go with that. First, we will add Phantom JS driver services dot phantom js executable path so this property should be copied and then we will simply point out to our address here up to bean within double quotes and then phantom js dot exe Make sure that it is backward slash so that it can recognize the path. Once you do that, simply call for web driver dot web driver driver equals to new Firefox driver. Okay, after that, driver dot get. Let's go to in dot wikipedia dot org okay and then we will simply get our page title so driver dot get okay so instead of firefox we should be using Phantom JS drivers. Sorry for that. I made correction here. Phantom JS driver. Okay. Again, pause the video and go through. Okay. Once you have everything properly set up, let's check in if we got path correctly. Okay. So path is correct. We imported desired capabilities. We enable JavaScript. We also set property for the Phantom JS path. Then we are creating instance of Phantom JS driver. Then navigating to Wikipedia, and finally printing out the page title. Okay, so now we can run the project to see how it works. Pay attention to the console. It will print out all warnings in between. Okay, so let's move in to check what it is doing right now. It will finish loading wikipedia.org and finally it will print out page title. Okay, so if you increase the size of console and look at here, 
you will find the message printed is page title wikipedia the free encyclopedia so now you know how to call for the respective classes and then write the necessary code to run phantom js driver test in entire test we didn't run any browser instance as in ui form everything was done headless and all the results are displayed on console in next video i will show you how you can get screenshot of a web page with the help of 